If you struggle with piece control and want to know how to do it like your favorite pros, this is the video for you. I'll be going through what you must know and do to be able to piece control at the highest level. I'll show you guys the best tips and tricks and fundamentals about piece control that you must learn. So with that being said, let's begin the video. First of all, what is piece control and why do you need it? Being able to piece control is one of the main things you need to become a better player. It is necessary and is used in almost every fight to end it quicker. Piece control is controlling and claiming the builds around your opponent that give you an advantage in a fight. Even if it's as simple and minimal as putting a cone in someone's box, it's still peace control. Now that you understand peace control and why you need it, let's get into our first tip to peace control better. First tip is peaks. The first thing about peace controlling correctly is peaks because the whole point is to do damage while not taking any. If you aren't doing peaks with your peace control, you're probably taking unreasonable damage you can avoid with simply just doing a window edit. Here's the wrong way to peace control and here's the right way. The difference is in the wrong one, I made an open edit and made it a 50-50 basically, but on the right one, I did a peek and hit my body, preventing damage that could have been done to me. The only time an open edit is acceptable is if your opponent is low and you have an HP advantage, but when you're looking to piece somebody up, think to yourself what is the most optimal edit for a peek, for example, a middle window, a peanut butter, a side window, but if you want to know how to peek better, the next tip can also help. The next tip is movement. Pros use their movement to get better peaks or angles in box fights to piece their opponent. If you go counterclockwise around a box, that ensures you that you have a right hand peak. So go that way, and for peaks, use your movement to be behind the edit before you confirm it. It sounds basic, but I see so many people still get shot and take damage while doing a peak because they don't do the simple thing. Before confirming an edit, just make sure to move where you want to be hidden, like this. So instead of confirming right here, you confirm there just so you're hidden and no one can shoot you. The next tip is angles. This is one of the most important things because depending on what side you want to peace control somebody, it can determine who wins the fight. Here is a bad angle that you shouldn't do. Imagine someone is in this box and I just jumped in front of their wall and try to take it. They're going to edit on me and piece me up. So get a better angle. Here's the most popular angle that people do. The diagonal. It's the most popular and common because it's the best and simple. You want to set it up like this. I recommend putting cones here and walls in this space and swinging at the wall right here. It's safe to do from here because you want to have a right hand peak on this diagonal so if you get edited on you can reset the wall quickly and block the shot as well. You can shoot your AR SMG to claim the wall as well, you don't have to just use your pickaxe. Next tip is to have good mechanics. You don't need Peterbot level mechanics but if you have decent enough mechanics it will help you majorly. I know it's happened to me before as well but how many times have you gone for peace control and messed up the edit? That's one of the reasons why I should try to get good mechs. So you can be consistent with your edits to piece up people as fast as you can, giving them less time to react. Next tip is pre-piecing. I'm sure you heard of it, but it's basically predicting where your opponent will go and piecing them there. Pros do it all the time and it's more popular with a floor cone double edit down, but first thing to pre-piecing is having this setting on. Visual sound effects. I'm sure you guys have heard of it, but if you don't have this on, you are missing out. It shows your opponent's footsteps so you know where they are and you have to follow that movement of where the footsteps are going and build towards that direction and piece there. I'll show you guys an example of pre-piece in game. Let's say there is someone in this box right here and I see footsteps saying that they are heading this way. What I'm going to do is build towards that direction, edit and piece below. But one thing to not do is drop down because what you are basically doing is making it a 50-50. So stay up and shoot and get an easy elam. Next tip is tracking. This helps with pre-piece as well but by keeping eyes on your opponent during the fight, this helps you by letting you know where they are at all times. You can do this by simply using visual sound effects or looking through half built walls like this that are holograms that you can see through. The best players do this in between fights. Also you can stop in your fights like just box up or something, take a look around, gather information, see what your opponent is doing and then make a move based on that. The next tip is crosshair placement. If you're not practicing your crosshair placement, you are way behind. Crosshair placement helps with aim, edits, and tracking. For aim, keep your crosshair head level so when you finally piece someone you can hit that massive 150 to end the fight. If you do the least minimal movement in the edit with your crosshair, it makes your edit faster and more consistent, which is crosshair placement. And for tracking, keeping your crosshair on the person throughout the fight so you know where they are the whole time also helps. I'm going to show you guys some little crosshair tricks so that you guys can piece people up more often. If you want to clone someone to block them out like this, this is a trick people usually don't know that you guys can do with your crosshair. So if you hold your cone build out and you put your crosshair right above the wall, stair, whatever it is, it'll actually place on top, right? But even if you look slightly below, it won't place. So if you guys want to get some extra piece, just put your crosshair right over a stair or wall 
and then place a cone. But if you're slightly under, remember it won't work. But just make sure it crosses over and it'll work. But don't look too high because then you can just do this. The next tip is timing. Sure, peace control is a good way to end fights fast, but it's not necessary all the time. So knowing the timing to go for it is helpful. You don't have to force it in fights or be scared to do it and miss your chance to do it. So look for a chance when they're not protecting their back, tops, or if they're just in the open. You should always check if there's a stair or cone in your opponent's box as well, and if they don't have any, then that's your ticket to easy peace control. So know when to go for it because sometimes just normal boss fights can be fine. Next tip is peace control moves. There are so many moves to peace control someone I can't even count, but learn and memorize the most you can so you can do it on people. Here are three of the basic moves that you guys should learn, and I'm going to show you guys in the game. The first basic move we already talked about, but it's going to be top piece just like this. You just get the floor cone and you piece like this. The second basic piece control move is window piece, which is just doing a window edit. It could be any of these. And then just putting cones up and down like this and putting walls around. You just have a right hand peek just like that. Next one is going to be far piece, which is just getting a wall from a box away, adding a white edit like that. It could also be a fence. And then having a peanut butter you can have anything else as well you can have a window edit but just shooting from here just like that last tip is to practice there are many maps you can practice your peace control in but here is my favorite it's raiders peace control map v3 this is like the lebron of peace control maps it has basic drills and advanced drills you can see how much time you did a certain drill as well and it has many different scenarios to practice in you can choose your shotgun to practice and if you are exposed the bot will shoot you i'll show you guys how to do this drill right here Alright, so in this drill, there's going to be a bot standing on the ramp just like this with no builds around it. So what your job is going to be is going to, to piece control all of this. So I'll show you guys how to do this drill. You put a cone on top of the ramp like this to block out the bot. You place a wall to protect yourself and do any peek. You can do a peanut butter, a window edit, whatever you want to do. But just don't make an edit like this. Because I'm you're obviously going to get shot. So let's say we do a peanut butter. Put walls behind just like this. See? So now, let's say this is a real person, he wouldn't be able just to run out back like this and get away. So now he's stuck. And then you can just jump up, headshot it just like that. So after you do it, it just resets. Let's say I do right here, it resets. And then um, one thing I will say though, is that when you do these drills, after you kill the bot, there has, there's like a little bit of time that you guys can reset the build. So after you shoot, reset and hold the wall. The reason why you want to do this because this is what you're going to do in real games because after you, you shoot somebody and reset everybody's going to know the wall is one shot right after you reset the wall is one shot so hold it because people will try to take it just like that and then you can just practice that with the bots here because let's say i were i were to miss right here right he's going to shoot the wall and then i just hold it just like that so just good practice and a good habit and after you guys are done you dance and then you go back here it says nine I actually delayed like three i did more beforehand that's why but uh it counts how much you did and then for every single drill it counts how much that's it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed it and it mean a lot if you guys can sub and leave a like on the video i have a creator code jvb if you wish to support me and if you guys need help with anything leave it in the comments because i'll be taking suggestions on my next videos with that being said i'll see you guys in the next one